there everybody, it's Doodabug. Um, I'm so sorry for this being two days late. This took a lot longer than I thought it was, and uh, it only took a lot longer is because I took a day and just didn't do it because there's just been a whole bunch of stuff going on. And it's like schools started back up and it's getting a little harder as we go now, so I'm getting busier with that. I didn't get done with everything till pretty late last night so that's why I'm recording this today and it's gonna be uploaded today um so I colored this with Copics and Arteza real brush pins and I was given the brush pins for my birthday and I was told they were like markers and so I didn't pay attention to the back where it said they are water based and so I'm sitting here using them like markers and wondering why my paper is messing up if I put too much on it. And I then started watching some videos and reviews last night while I was filming the last bit of it. And I was like, oh, that's why I'm an idiot. So yeah, that happened. Sorry, I'm not feeling all that well today. Um. So I thought that while we did this, because it's such a long video, I would do 10 random things about me. So I'm going to start from 1 and go all the way to 10, and I think I'm actually going to add one more. So it would be 11 instead of 10. So I'm 15, and I still sleep with a doll I've had since I was 6, and I probably will until I'm married. Um, 2. I have an unhealthy obsession with pumpkin spice and mint products. Every time, like, the moment September hits and the pumpkin spice stuff starts being released in the stores, every single pumpkin spice product has to be in my house. And mint, I drink mint and tea and hot chocolate and sometimes even my cappuccino. It's, it's just amazing. I love mint gum, just anything. Three, um, I start listening to Christmas music in October because I'm not allowed to do Halloween. And I'll probably explain the Halloween thing later because I'm actually going to be doing a Halloween speed paint. So I will probably explain to you why I'm not allowed to. Um, four, um, I really like musicals. Like, especially new ones and classic ones because Listening to both of them, especially one after the other, it gives you the feel of the change that it's been. Because, like, you go and listen to Les Mis and you hear the classic words, stuff that they wouldn't use in new musicals now, even depending on what it was. Like Hamilton, it's a hip-hop musical, but Les Mis, it's about revolutionary times in France, but it's beautiful. It's, like, really beautiful. And everything... I just, I just love musicals. Okay, that's, that's where we're going with that. Um, five, um, sorry, um, I'm a Ravenclaw. One day, I stayed up till like three in the morning. I was at my best friend's house, and I ended up staying up till three in the morning, and I took like five Harry Potter house quizzes, and I ended up in Ravenclaw in every single one. And I also took one where it puts you in two houses and puts them together like you could be a Ravenpuff or Huffleclaw or like Ravendor or something like that. And it put me in Ravendor, so. Which kind of made sense because there had been one test that I had taken several months ago that put me in Gryffindor after I had already taken a test that said I was a Ravenclaw. So. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's really weird, but yeah, I am definitely a Ravenclaw. <laughs> um, six, I am obsessed with Gravity Falls and Steven Universe. I was actually really behind on Steven Universe and I have started watching it because I had already seen maybe 13 episodes of the first season and some of the, um, like one or two episodes of each season after. And I decided I was going to go, and I was definitely going to watch all of the episodes. I'm in season 4, I'm in episode 16. I'm catching up to what is on demand on my TV. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I'm catching up to it. And I finished Gravity Falls. I hate that it ended, because they still play it on Disney XD. They still play Gravity Falls. So it's like, if you're still going to play it on TV, I don't understand why you can't just continue actually um, with the series. But I understand, 
and yeah, it ended. I'm just glad they're still playing it on TV, and I will watch it any time of my life, because I love it. Um, so then, <laughs> I have a dog named Winchester. Um, I've had several dogs in my lifetime. One was named after Darth Vader. Oh, uh, no, I had a cat named Darth Vader. I had a dog who was named after Kiba from Naruto. I had a dog named Peyton. He was the first dog we ever had. Um, I've had I had a dog named Sadie. Um, I had a dog named Luke Skybarker. Um, a dog that we have now is Harley. It's my stepdad's dog, and Winchester is um, my mom's dog that my stepdad got for her on Valentine's Day, and she named him Winchester. You can guess where we got that from. Supernatural. So, I don't know why my nose is so stiffy today. I'm sorry. Um, um, eight. Doodlebug is a nickname that my grandmother bestowed upon me um, because I would hide away and draw from dawn until dusk when I was like in third grade. And she still calls me that now, and I actually really like it. And so I'm actually working on an icon for um, that is an example of Doodlebug, or what I think Doodlebug would be. Um, nine, um, I'm homeschooled, but that does not mean I'm stupid. Like, I do the best, most strict Christian program that I could be put into that we can afford. And I'm a freshman at a sophomore level. I am not at all stupid, and being homeschooled does not mess with my social skills at all. I actually have very many friends. I have several best friends. I know some people think you can't have more than one best friend, but I have more than one best friend. And I have so many friends, so being homeschooled doesn't even mess with my social life at all. Um, 10. I love whales. Blue whales, humpback whales, right whales, all kinds of whales, etc. It doesn't matter. I love them. We went to California recently and we went on a whale watching trip and what did we didn't see one whale. We saw maybe like 300 dolphins, but we didn't see one whale. And number 11, I love ice skating. I'm a big fan of Yuri on Ice. I love watching the tournaments and everything. I just love ice skating. There is something about it. Maybe it's just the fact that they've that it's kind of like incorporating dance, but then I just love it. I think it's amazing, and I wish I could be an ice skater. I am definitely not in the physical shape to be an ice skater, but I wish I could be. So, yeah, that's 11 random things about me. Um, oh, already. As you can see, I am almost done with number two, who I believe his name is Hoagie. Yeah, I think that's his name. I used to watch this show all the time as a kid, and uh, I don't know why, I just quit watching it at one point. Um, but yeah, I loved it, and so I also started re-watching it, and I started sketching this, and I was like really happy that I was doing this. And this is probably the big, the first big project I've done in a long time. I can only think of one big art project that I've done. And it wasn't actually that big because I was like in fifth or sixth grade. And it was only like three characters, but I did have a background to it. And I don't have a background of this one, but it's because I didn't feel like I had the room for a background. So yeah, so I'm writing the last bit of it. Um, I will see you guys next week with a cover of I don't know what yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye!